So we want to be love and light, right? We know that's the way to be, don't we? All positive, full of love, open-hearted, generous, flowing with grace. Not always like that though, is it? Not in reality it isn't. I mean, okay, we could spend a lifetime on a mountain, meditating, being in nature, being and at peace with all, at one with everything and everyone. But we're not in that position. Maybe on occasion that's possible, but more and more our ability to stay at peace within ourselves is being challenged. I'm not sure if that's happening to you, but it's happening a lot. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? It's really important that that's happening right now and we're going to get into that. Um, and so this idea that we can be at peace all the time, and if you can be and you are, then that's a wonderful place to be. And you are one of those who are helping to hold the frequency, hold that space, for all the other people that are working towards that right now, okay? So thank you for holding that space and just simply being, being the witness, being the observer of when things are chaotic and when things are crazy and when things are overwhelming and you stay in that place of peace and simply observe without being reactionary, without being triggered, without feeling that you need to rescue someone or do anything, defend a point of view. You can just flow with whatever you're being asked to do from your guidance system. If you're in that place, and that is a wonderful place to be, and in service to that call, wonderful. But not everyone is in that place. And that's what we need to look at, the importance of not being in that place and being okay with that currently. Because it's all transitionary. It's all changing. So if you're not in that place currently, you're moving towards that and you will find that you have moments of being in that peaceful place. If you're not having any of those moments currently, if you feel like you are in a constant state of anxiety, if you're even having panic attacks, feeling overwhelmed, feeling as if everything is out to get you and you're the victim of this changing world and that no one understands you and that you feel perhaps even too sensitive to be on the planet right now, then stick around because we're going to talk about a lot of this kind of stuff. And bit by bit, we're going to bring a lot of support and new awareness to help you move through all of that into a clearer place, a more peaceful place. And so for some people, there can be moments of being at peace and other times when it just all gets too much. Okay, and some people find that that state of being at peace and at one can gradually get extended more and more because they're making the changes in their lives that they need to make to bring greater peace to themselves. And so everything's less jarring, less jangling, less overwhelming, less triggering. And so it's a process. The awakening, the ascension, it's a process and it's experiential. You can't get away from it. You have to experience it, okay? And what you're doing every single day is you're experiencing it. And so you're already on board. And the more awareness that you have, as your energy body expands in light, you'll be more aware of what triggers you, what you can handle, what you can't handle, what you can't tolerate, and what you decide to no longer have in your life. And they're all choices, they're all decisions for you to make. And so bit by bit, the more that you make decisions in tune with the true you of you 
the more all that other stuff starts to fall away. The less, less obligated you are to show up in ways that please others, that others find acceptable, that m- other ways that might meet the needs of others, but don't meet your own inner needs. Okay, so that's a process just in itself to simply observe how true you're being to you and how much you compromise your integrity, how much you go out of your way to make sure everyone else is okay and yourself, you're left behind. You're like the last person on the list. When you're checking that everything's all right for everyone, where are you on that list? Okay. So all these just gentle observations can be really useful because then you can start to adjust. You can start to make changes. You can give yourself permission to make changes that are going to support you. Changes that will ultimately change your life, will change the trajectory of your life. Simple changes often, subtle changes even, but continuation of change as a process of self-development, self-awareness, awakening to the true you, so that you can interact with the environment around you without it feeling so hostile. So you can remain in that place of peace regardless of what's going on in the world around you. And that's the trick. And we're going to talk about all of that in many of these videos to support that change by bringing greater awareness And so you can begin to see how much more in your power you can be. That you're not being bashed around by the world as it changes. And the world has to change. There's no getting away from that either. We're in the process of huge change on this planet. And we want that change. We need change. But what we don't want to be is be the victim of the change. We want to remain empowered throughout the change and even uplifted with the changing energies so that we can be supported into superposition, into being authentic, living an authentic life, actualizing the self in physical reality. And so there's a, there's a great deal of opportunity for transformation in every moment of every day, as we adjust our perceptions, our perspectives, our beliefs, our attitudes, start to see things differently, start to make those subtle adjustments, and we start to see results. We start to see that actually it's a choice how we show up. It's a choice what we allow, what we tolerate, what we accept. It's a choice to be at peace. Or not. Now let's come back to this point about being at peace all the time, occasionally or not at all. Okay, so there's a great deal that I can share with you about this because it's a huge topic um, and there's a lot of information around that because everyone is different. Okay, so stick around. Yeah, if everything you need isn't in this particular video, then there will be more. Write in the comments to let me know how it is for you and then we can address that bit by bit. Okay, because everyone is unique. Everyone's on a unique journey. But this experiential time of ascension, of awakening is so powerful and so beautiful and so intelligent that it wants the very best for you. It's bringing you home to yourself, bringing you home to the truth of who you are, to the peace within you, so that we can be at peace with ourselves and the world around us. So if it feels very, very challenging, which I know it can, and it does, 
It's because it's trying to support you to make the necessary adjustments to come into alignment. Okay. And so if you're finding that the time that you're spending in a more peaceful way is growing, then what are you doing to create that? And do more of that. There are things that your true, authentic nature loves to do. And so find those things. Explore those things. Give yourself permission to enjoy those things regularly. Okay. And start making a choice to do less of the things that trigger you or jangle you or overwhelm your nervous system. Now there is a point to the triggering and we're going to do a whole session on that. And the triggers, they're treasures. We need them, we want them. They're going to help open up the opportunity to do some very deep work, which once that deep inner work is done, then you're going to have such a huge capacity to open to the light and to sustain that sense of peace and oneness for a long, long time, perhaps for a lifetime, but we're in the process of changing to move from an old world to a new world. And it's bumpy. It can't not be. If you've ever moved house, you know how chaotic it can be. For a little while when you've got boxes everywhere and you don't know where anything is and you know, what you relied on that was familiar. <laughs> you, the way you had things organized. Um, that's suddenly gone. And everything's packed away. And you've got the process of moving to that new place and unpacking and finding where you're going to put the things in the new place because it's now all unfamiliar. And where does everything go? And you don't quite know who you are or where you are for a little while. And it can be stressful, right? And if you're moving to a place that you really want to move to, okay, it's really worth it, isn't it? It's like you know that it's going to be chaotic for a bit and there's kind of an underlying sense of excitement because you've got your eye on what's going to happen next, where you're going to be. And that can fill you up with like, yes, the dream of what that will be once you're settled in. And so the awakening process is a little bit like that. There's a, a, a chaotic sense of change. The, what was familiar is all being shaken up. Things are being uprooted. Some things that have been packed away for a long time have got to come out to see if you really want to keep them anymore or whether they're going to go to the dump before moving, right? Other more precious things, you're like, you know, they're moving into my new place with me, so I need to take good care of those. And you're starting to recognize, to sort and store what's of value to you personally. What don't you want in your new life? What do you want? And so the process of moving, shifting from the old world to the new is very much like that. Yes, it's chaotic. Yes, it can be overwhelming. Yes, at times you don't know who you are, where you are and what's going on. Some people might seem helpful along the way. Other people, you just wish they didn't show up and they would just leave you alone because you've got enough to, to deal with right now without thinking about whatever they're adding to the, uh, to the pot. <laughs> and so the shift from the old world to the new it's a transitionary period. And within that transitionary period, hold on to the vision of going somewhere of a much higher vibration that's going to support you in a way that the old world couldn't. It's going to support the true you of you, the, the real you of you, the empowered, enriched you and you, the authentic you. Okay, and imagine the old, the old world or the old space wasn't able to do that. Maybe you don't have to imagine, maybe you just know that. <laughs> maybe you feel that in your blood and your bones. 
yeah, that it just doesn't feel right, it just doesn't fit, it doesn't nurture, it doesn't support, reassure, and it's not sustainable. And so the inevitable shift, the move, if you like, has to take place. But it's chaotic whilst it occurs. And that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. Okay, there's nothing wrong with you. When you let go of thinking there's something wrong with you, you'll find it all much easier. Okay. These are challenging, changing times. Don't take it so personally. Okay. Yes, we want to bring down our stress levels as much as possible. And we can look at all of that, reducing anxiety, changing the negative thought patterns that are going on when they go on. All of that will help the move, the transition to be much more graceful. And that's what we want. We want to find that place of peace, know what it feels like, embody it bit by bit. And as we learn to embody that bit by bit, it becomes grounded as a new way of being integrated in an authentic way so that you can express the you of you without fear, without thinking that you're wrong or you're getting it wrong or you're going to be judged or that you have to hide, that you can't say what you think or even feel what you feel. All of that gently, gently, bit by bit will shift and change and you may already have noticed that happening. And so, regardless of where you are today on your journey, know and trust that you're in the process of change. And just the fact that you're tuning in here means that the vibration of the energy that you're interacting with is in alignment. And that's really exciting. You are exactly where you need to be. Perfectly aligned. Okay? Let's share some more soon. <laughs>